And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Timeline. So what we have here is a deck that is built around concurrent timelines and playing a bunch of units that have play effects and card advantage and just kind of rifling through the deck. So we got PNC Bilgewater. Our deck's going to kind of play similar to like the casino decks you've seen before with Twisted Fate Jinx. But a little but a little different because we're going to be built around concurrent timelines this is the card that we definitely want in our opener if we could choose one card in our opener we really want this card this says for the rest of the game for each time you play for the first time you play a follower each round pick one of three followers with the same cost to transform it into and that's gonna be important because we have a lot of smaller followers that you know maybe have a good ability like coral creatures but it's just like a little one-two. But, you know, it can summon, it creates a card in our hand. It also attunes, gets us a mana. But it's a little one-two. But if we have concurrent timelines, we can uh, turn that into a much better two-drop. And that works with a lot of these cards. You know, like Petty Officer. We can get a lot better three-drop. And then we also, you know, get the Powder Keg or Random One Cost Follower to go along with it. Mystifying Magician should be pretty awesome in here. This is a card that I've always thought has been underrated transforming any ally into a random five cost follower so whenever we have uh, some of these small units you know your pool shark your coral creatures your jury rig you know you have your your small units like whatever one drop you get off, out of petty officer you can turn that into a, f a five cost follower which is really powerful but of course mystifying magician itself is just a generic 2-2 not that powerful but with concurrent timelines now we're we're talking now we can make mystifying magician a random or you know not necessarily random but you know choose one of three, uh, four drops. So we make Mystifying Magician a, mu a much better body, plus it makes the random five cost follower. That seems like that's gonna be really sweet. Uh, let's see, of course, we're gonna have Twisted Fate as our one uh, champion. We got Augmented Experimenter in here that can can be a much better six drop than just a regular old three three. Um, and then we even have Riptide Rex at the top end that now Dreadway costs eight mana. It may never happen, but if we were lucky, we could have Riptide Rex flip into the Dreadway get our six cannon barrages that all deal double the damage that could be really cool so yeah let's lots of cool stuff with this deck so let's let's get to it let's hopefully draw a bunch of concurrent timelines and by a bunch i mean one a game <laughs> all right we're gonna go play our five games in ranked nightfall all right so no concurrent timelines I kind of want to keep, so we're going to be mulliganing a lot in this, uh, in these games if we don't have concurrent timelines. I could maybe see keeping a Mystic Shot to be able to kill like a Diana, but we need to find concurrent timelines. So let's just send it all back. Alright, not the best hand, but... Interesting. So I could just rummage away Jury Rig and then like Riptide Rex. Rex is probably kind of important, though. I'll yeah, just pass. I think I'd actually rummage away the Dreadway deck hand. I think that's the least valuable card in my hand. Because, you know, Targon. Night. Usually a little bit longer games. So maybe Riptide Rex. Uh, you know, like, that can turn a game. And yeah, so I just passed. We get a little bit more information of what our hand looks like, what our opponent's doing. Darkness hides in my path. Um. Ugh. No timelines. I know it would have been nice to have like, the surprise blocker for the Duskbringer. But I really wanted to place the low speed timelines right here. We've seen 13 cards so far. Hopefully none of them have been timelines. Well, that's a pretty good card. Because they could still play Diana if they want. Yeah, we have some more card draw in our hand with Zap. And these things. Okay, yes, they are going to play Diana. We got a Prismatic Diana. 
Rise. Find me a favorite look. Fortunately, I did not keep that mystic shot. Mystic shot would have been nice. There we go. Found it. All right, good. I think I want Grizzled Ranger. Investigator is pretty, uh, pretty enticing with these Fortune Croakers, but Investigator, you know, like doesn't really block Mountain Goat. I could take Grizzled Ranger. Cool. Man, if only Grizzled Ranger just attuned and <laughs> drew a spell for you. Here we go. New Grizzled Ranger. Attune and draw Mystic Shot. Alright, four for four. So it probably means like they're either taking like the four one or Doom Beast. I guess it could be the five three overwhelm also. Those those would be like the three that I think they would either take. Probably five three overwhelm, Doom Beast, or the four one fearsome. Alright. Four one fearsome. Because they played three out of four Nightfall cards, so I have to try this before they play another Nightfall card and level up the Diana. Um, obviously, I'm hoping no Pale Cascade. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. No, play the other 4-1. Ugh, one done to play the other 4-1 and then I red card. Deal me in. I should probably do this before they gem the Diana. Man, they had Pell Cascade also. Alright, that's good. So it would be better for me to play Fortune Croker first and then Magician, but then we would have the concurrent timelines do uh, you know, do the Croker, which isn't nearly as valuable. I'd, I'd much rather have the concurrent timelines do the Magician. So that's a little awkward. Hey, what's up, Venisar? Yeah, welcome to the stream. Wait, I chose the one two lifesteal. Which I guess wouldn't be that valuable against Shade Stalker anyway, so alright, whatever. Yeah, I, I thought I clicked on Sparkle Fly, but I guess it said I, t I timed out. You know, just attacking with everything. Maybe I don't attack with the 5 4. Because I, yeah, I, I didn't want the 5 4 train with the go. It would be quite a bit of damage to them, though, if I, if I would make that trade.
that's a little too late. I just need a mystic shot the Diana first, but we're just so we're just so dead. I'm on the verge of something. Wish you could still like respond to that being on the stack, and then I could you know mystic shot while that's on the stack. Why did I not draw four cards? Oh, right, 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 right. This doesn't just replace every single card in your hand. Right, right, right. Sorry. You just dropped three. This is what I was worried about. So that's ten. Magic attack you. All right, so I like the stuff that our deck was doing. I thought that was our deck was pretty cool. Um, that that Diane Nocturne deck's awesome. You know, they had a good hand too, but you know, so their, their deck's a little better than ours. But I liked the things that our deck was doing from just like the first time here. I see some some potential. That was a pretty cool game. Morning, Agent Iowa. Good morning. All right, Demacia Targon. We got some dragons. Okay, so we got our two most important cards with Timelines and Twisted Fate. Okay, so I'm passing turn the first turn, and I'm playing this on turn two, because it allows them to play their two drop first, so I just have more information whenever I play my coral creatures, so I can see, like, are they going with, like, Mountain Goat? Do they have anything else? Right, I just have more information. I guess... Start Spirits, I guess. Do you want to trade those? I guess so. Wow. <laughs> I guess I'll just take generic 3 3 over the 0 3 or 0 6. This wouldn't work anyway, because remember, you don't summon the, the card that you transform them into, so like this wouldn't work anyway. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen. Oh, uh, we don't get the lifesteal? Well, that's pretty good value. For a three mana, you know, play three drop and four drop, and you get a three three, a four four scout, and a five four. The dragon's rage claws to that's get pretty out. good value. Not bad. Mystifying Magician. It's a cool card. They are nothing. So we'll get the three one. It attacks for the most. some blocks in. Never 
lost a fair game. Or played one. All that glitters. All right, it's done that. Dang, that's a nice crescent strike. Shark Chariot? Shark Chariot or Blade Twirler? Like, Blade Twirler can't really even attack right now, right? It's like the 1-3 attacking into the 3-2. Shark Chariot can attack. Um, <laughs> I guess Shark Chariot. Do I let them, you know, heal th for three and kill my 1-1? One, one? No, I guess maybe not. I think I'll block the 3-3. Three, three. So, good turn for them. They had some good spells. Speaking of good spells. End them. Behold my work. Not sure what to do here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do. I I'm kinda of, like so why would they make that attack? Is it Radiant Guardian? I guess it's probably Radiant Guardian, right? That probably makes the most sense. If I, because the problem, with, like, if I pick a card, then whenever I, I get excited, I have to discard something else. I mean, I just pick a card that's get excited, actually. That, that also maybe works. So I'm not sure which one of these two I want to play next turn. Experimenter or Rex. But the pick a card would, I want to play the pick a card to threaten leveling up this Twisted Fate. Yeah, it was Radiant Guardian. Where does this Mystic Shot go? I don't know. Gosh, I don't I don't like any options. I don't I don't know. I I could I could definitely see like just getting one damage on the Radiant Guardian trying to have, you know, like some of like these damage things just add up. All right, going for Riptide Rex. Blue as the Serpentine. Let's hopefully hit Dreadway. Hey, what's up, Jordan? How close am I to deep? Not that close. Because we won't, we won't stun any, so we can either have an 8-8 Fury or a 6-5 Fearsome that attack, give them minus 2, minus 0. So they don't, um, you know, so this Radiant Guardian's a 2-5, so that thing can't block. Um, so I guess we'll do that Terror of the Tides. And they call me a shark. They can, of course, just have, like, start, or, uh... You know, the, the two mana plus two plus two block elusives. Not star shaping. Not star spring. The other double S word. Sharp sight. 
Yeah, there we go, sharp sight. All right, cool. No sharp sight. It was in the card. That's a good win. It's a good deck we just beat. All right, more Targon. We're back to all Targon these days. Three for three with the Targon decks. You know, fine hand. No concurrent timelines. This is not as good of a hand. Still no concurrent timelines. I'm glad they do not have the attack token right away so they can't just hit me with a Zoe on turn one. So we need to draw timelines and then we also need to draw cheap unit. We were peaceful once. It's our time. And I'm just going to pass. Could have surprise blocked, but I'd rather save that to discard to get excited. Timelines. Alright, that is a summon. And we did summon the pool shark. So we should be able to draw one fleeting the next round. Maybe that one fleeting is a concurrent timelines. Boom. Flex it on him with the pool shark. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Yeah! See, called it. That one fleeting was concurrent timelines. It's like I'm a mystifying magician. Timelines. Right. It even says Bull Shark Fleeting. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is the light I cherish, Moon Sister. Alright, so they probably have like Pill Cascade and stuff to protect Diana. Like we saw the last, you know, game one. Try to Mystic Shot they could protect. So do we get those out of their hand? Like I could so I could basically so I could just fire off, get excited right away. And then they just keep those in their hand for later. Or I fire off Mystic Shot. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just fire off Mystic Shot. Force him to have it. Maybe they don't choose to use him. Moonlight guide me. Then they passed? No attacks? Really? No attacks, huh? All right, so remember, none, none of these do anything, like these allegiance and everything. So we just either get generic 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 or 4-3. So we'll just take the 4-3. Ah, why do we keep getting this 5-4 overwhelm? It's like we play against Nightfall, and so that, therefore we have to hit Nightfall. But yeah, triple allegiance. <laughs> I know these paths well. We will resist. Oh, you're interesting. Pell Cascade's still really good. Mm. No, let's no, let's jury rig for sure. Yeah, because then then I have the jury rig for the mystifying magician the next turn. So that's good for me. The Mountain Scryer only got like that little weak card and not anything better. Cool. What's bad for me is that they have more. 
Mountain Scryers. Still six cards in hand. Could go blue card. That would set up, you know, the 2-1 challenging my Twisted Fates. So I guess I'd have to go red card. Let's play this thing. Okay. Um, Swole Squirrel or Sand Crafter. Both of those look pretty cool. I guess Sand Crafter. Both those look pretty cool, though. Alright, 3-3 three, three Elusive. I'll take that. Yeah, double Mountain Scry are really powerful. It was my heart that led me here. Hitting Traveler, and they're just going infinite. Ugh, one man short. No, summon effects don't work because you summon the card that's in your hand, right? So, like, summon effects happen with the cards that you, that you play from your hand. Whatever you transform them into, you're not, you're not, like, they don't get summoned into play. They just, they get, you know, transformed, basically. So, like, those summons don't work. card. So much invoke. I mean, it's not Riptide Rex right this turn, right? Like, I'm not going to be able to turn on Plunder because I used that. Get excited to kill the 4-3. Uh, Lifesteal. Gosh. As though day and night are not equal. Invoke is pretty good. Alright, all good options. So Investigator would work with the Coral Creatures. Um, but Investigator doesn't give me like a very good blocker. Grizzled Ranger gives me a good blocker. I'm going to go with the Investigator with, with having Twisted Fate in play. Six. Seven, eight, nine. The old fashioned Twist of Fate level up. Thanks to rummage stress testing. Oh, right. This one's going to change. I'm not going to be able to rip Tide Rex change. So I wanted to do this for, for blue card, I was going to Mystic Shot for red card, and then I was going to Riptide Rex after that. Um, we'll just take the Fearsome over the Spell Shield. So that's what I was thinking, because I, I, I was going to have the red card turn on the Plunder, and then Riptide Rex. Soak it in. <laughs> We're not going to lose. We're fine. Mean. 
We gotta get that two one fearsome. Something for all of you. Yeah, so no no dreadway, unfortunately. For us. But we still have leveled up twisted fate. So that's pretty good. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Uh, I still have another Rex. So I waste this, get excited. Awesome. There we go. So the gold card was going to kill the 2 2. It was in the card. All right, Targon number four. Feels like we're playing before Sharima came out. It's just only Targon everywhere. All right, so we're gonna keep them. You know, we we're looking for concurrent timelines. But I'm gonna keep Mystic Shot because of Zoe. Where you at, timelines? The spirit gives to those who listen. <gasps> it is time. Hmm, I'll just take one. For silver I die, for gold I leave. Yay, time lines. Lines. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Let's do this. I guess so. Like again, just generic four four, generic two three. I guess I kind of want field musicians. We summon three other allies. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, yeah, because we didn't, we didn't really summon. So now, okay, so if an ally dies, we refill our spell mana with that. Also. I mean, we can refill our spell mana with, like, you know, rummage these jury r rigs away. Breathe in, breathe out. Cool. Alright, so we're going to draw a card and refill our spell mana. When an ally dies, refill your spell mana. <laughs> uh, again, no summon ability, so, you know, just generic 4-3 or, I guess, this thing. So we drew a card with the Field Musicians. Down to fourteen. So Pell Cascade saves this thing, but doing these at the same time means the guiding touch doesn't save it. So 
unfortunately, they had the one card that saves it. They'd already played the two spells, so I didn't, like, turn that on. They just, they just kind of have it all. I'd rather have a, th I guess I'd rather have just the three one over one three attack deal two. Mm, I guess I'll take boom crew. Yeah, this has not been good. What's the worst that could happen? All right, so good thing that wasn't deny, so we should still draw our cards. Wow, those are terrible cards. Those cards do not help. No elusives for us in any of these. Um, for elusive blockers either. Hope this works. Yeah, we gotta get closer to good cards, you know, like with, since we just fought through all those terrible cards. Ugh. No, just a bunch of junk. Alright, two and two. Okay, not Targon. Facing the one person not playing Targon. I kinda wanna keep Pool Shark now. Send it back. Well Yeah, I'll keep Pool Shark. I really want the, the turn one blocker. Of course we're looking for concurrent timelines. Hmm. That's a hard thing to block on turn one. Okay, ready. I was, I was expecting like you know, uh, Legion saboteur. We play in build rules. Hmm. Some. Of course, I'm ready. <laughs> Come on. The best card in our deck. The one turn we can't play it. I'll do better this time. You pick the losing side. Our deck can have like some really nonsense cards, but we're still two and two. We're not doing bad. But when you only draw these units, there we go, finally, and nothing else. It can it can look <laughs> pretty ridiculous. All right, there we go, finally. Uh, I don't know, Professor Vanya? Because the, the crowd favorite doesn't really do anything. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Right out. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just going to get burned out. We're already down to seven at best. And, of course, this deck is just playing all the burn spells, so... We don't have any Nexus healing, do we? We have to, like, luckily hit, like, a lifesteal unit. 
somehow. Life steal unit. Yeah, good old one power life steal. I have my orders. It's not much. Health potion. Hmm, death ray is kind of cool. Is there a two, a four, or a six mana lifesteal unit? That can maybe hit. Herald of Spring at two. Kinku Lifeblade at four. Soul Gorger at six. I guess Soul Gorger is the easiest card to hit out of all of those. Just mathematics wise, right? Like it's, it's the easiest one to hit. Yeah. Good burn deck. All right, still not bad. Going two and three over in Masters rank. We got to see our deck do a lot of cool things. Um, you know, so I was I was kind of impressed with our deck. Actually, you know, I didn't have like the highest expectations or anything for a little uh, concurrent timeline stack like this, but I was pretty impressed. I think that moving forward, one one change I would make is is like the spells were really good, and we just needed we need more spells. Really, we need more um, removal. The card in here, um, but you know, like obviously we want to have a lot of followers, like with concurrent timelines and everything. But the card in here that just really didn't do anything, and a card I I was always like really not happy with was this Dreadway deck hands. I would get rid of those. We still have plenty of smaller units and everything, and I would get two more like removal spells in here, two more two more interaction spells, um, or you know like something else. Like I, I think that uh, I think that we still had plenty of plenty of units, especially with like the different card draw and everything that we had. Um, I wouldn't mind having, you know, I wouldn't even mind having like another champion, right? Like like even like an elusive, like I wouldn't mind having like Ezreal. In here just to you know just to be like a, another champion or, or jinx or something like that but what i would maybe recommend in instead of those um dreadway deck hands that i just just didn't care about ever would be something like i mean i guess we could play aftershock but i would probably just play gotcha i think i want just like two gotchas in here just gives a little bit more interaction um eager apprentice that's not bad. Subpersible. Subpersible is not bad either. Because Sub Subpersible gets that plus... Like, if you've played 10 different cards, that plus 4, plus 0 is permanent. So, like, whatever you get on the other side, you know, you'll draw a card and um, get something else. And Subpersible would be a... Uh, that'd be an elusive blocker. That's not bad at all. Also, wouldn't really mind Citrus Courier. Because you'd still... You know, you get a six, def different 6-drop. You still heal your allies 3 and then rally. Like, that's also good. You know, like, that... That Nexus healing. That wouldn't be bad either. So Cit Citrus Courier could also fit here. Especially if like we're turning other things into like random five cost followers and we just have like you know, we had like damaged allies quite a bit. Um, I don't know if Augmented was horrible, just because it gave me it gave me some interaction. The like I liked that interaction it gave me. And it, it allowed me to, like, discard, like, because in the late game, right, like, your Dreadway deckhands and Coral Creatures and that kind of stuff, like, while those are cool, like, in the late game, they're not going to really do very much. Um, I wouldn't say Augmented was horrible, but it it wasn't, it's tough, it's tough when you're trying to Riptide Rex, right? Like, that that is kind of difficult because, you you know, you want to hold on to your hand, for, like, especially if you have a Riptide Rex in hand. Like, so that's kind of tough. So maybe maybe just playing Subpersible over Augmented Experimenter for card draw. 
Maybe that's the thing to do. All right, let's get rid of Gotcha. Let's get rid of Experimenter. And then let's play like Subpercible and Courier for our five and six. So we still get a little bit of card draw with Subpercible. We get like a six drop with a really cool effect. You know, heal our allies, rally. That can definitely be a really cool effect. Um, yeah, and then we kind of have kind of have like a nice curve here, and we won't discard our Riptide Rexes. Okay, actually, let's let's just try that. I like that. So yeah, okay. Those those could be maybe two upgrades. Like the the deck hand wasn't really necessary. Get rid of the experimenter and maybe just play these two cards. So Percival is the kind of card that if you don't have concurrent timelines is is usually pretty good. You know, being a a really big elusive body draw card. Okay, cool. I think that's that's a good little upgrade there. That's always good to find nice little upgrade. So there we go. So we still went two and three in Masters rank, and we played close games. And then you know maybe try these two cards out. Um, those could work quite well. All right, but there we go. That was fun. I think concurrent timelines is is definitely a fun card to play, and I was I was impressed by um, coral creatures with it. I was really impressed with the mystifying magician. The magician really performed well for us. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, uh, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck or, you know, got any other ideas, anything like that. Love to hear. Uh, love to hear it. So love to see those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Twisted Timelines. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.